Welcome friends, like, share and subscribe for more videos. In this video laws of fluid statics are described. Pressure intensity at any point in static mass of fluid is given by Pascal's law. In fluids under static conditions pressure is found to be independent of the orientation of the area. This concept is explained by Pascal's law. Pascal's law which states that the pressure at a point in a fluid at rest is equal in magnitude in all directions. According to Pascal's law when there is an increase in pressure at any point in a confined fluid, there is an equal increase at every other point in the container. Therefore Pascal's law can be interpreted as saying that any change in pressure applied at any given point of the fluid is transmitted undiminished throughout the fluid. In a hydraulic car lift, Pascal's law allows forces to be multiplied. The cylinder on the left shows a cross-section area of 10 square centimeter, while the cylinder on the right shows a cross-section area of 100 square centimeter. The cylinder on the left has a weight or force of 1 newton acting downward on the piston, which lowers the fluid 10 centimeters. As a result of this force, the piston on the right lifts a 10 newton weight a distance of 1 centimeter. Variation of pressure intensity in a static liquid is given by hydrostatic law. Pressure in a fluid increases with depth, because more fluid rests on deeper layers, and the effect of this extra weight of fluid on a deeper layer is balanced, by an increase in pressure. Pressure at any depth in a static mass of fluid can be determined by hydrostatic law, which states that, the rate of increase of pressure in vertical downward direction, must be equal to specific weight of liquid at that point. The pressure will be same at the same level in any mass of static fluid, whose density is constant.